In this video, I'll explain how to submit flights for processing using the Advocate Consulting online flight log tool. Flight submission occurs on an aircraft by aircraft basis. So the flight submission process begins on the aircraft screen for the aircraft you are working with. You just click on this Submit Log Period button. Or you can go to the flight log screen for that aircraft and the Submit Log Period button is right here as well. When you click that button, you have the opportunity to create a new flight log period to be submitted. You do that by selecting a start date right here. I'm going to be submitting the calendar year 2023, so I'm going from January 1st through December 31st. Then just click Create Log Period. Over here, you can see the page is divided into two sections. Here you have log periods that you are still working on and are not yet closed. And here you have log periods that are already closed. Now I'm going to submit the 2023 log period for processing, and I do that by just clicking on that log period. Before logs are submitted, each flight entry is either in draft form or has been marked final. In order to submit a log period, all the flights in that period have to be marked final. So when you click on a period for submission, the first step is to finalize any flights that are still in draft form. At this stage, the Flight Log tool has found two flights that need to be marked final, so I will do that right now. After I click Final on the last one, the computer will check the entire log for submission warnings and errors. In this case, there weren't any, and so it jumped straight to step 4, Submitted Flights. With no warnings or errors, the flights submitted without any difficulty, and now you can see that all the flights have been successfully submitted. Now I can click Done, and I'm finished with the process. In the next video, I'm going to cover how to resolve warnings and errors when the computer identifies them with some of the flights that you are attempting to submit.